What's up guys, it's Colin here with Up North Outdoors and today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. Um, basically, we're gonna be digging out and cold starting a tank. <laughs> Whew, it's deep. There it is, a tank. So basically, I mean, my cousin is on his way here, Oscar. I think he's been in a video or two. He's coming to the Bobcat and we're gonna be digging out this snowbank um, and digging a path here so we can get the tank out. So, cause we have a, a big truck coming here to load it up onto so we can get it out to the farm. Um, and we need to try to start it. So we're probably gonna have to try to jump, jump start a tank cause this thing hasn't been ran all winter. Get the rest of the snow off it and everything and it's gonna be a fun time. And you're probably wondering, Colin, why the heck are you guys getting a tank? Um, kind of a long story. We had a Sherp client, a client that bought a Sherp, because we're Sherp dealers, from California. And my dad sent him, he, my dad comes to this gun shop a lot, because they're awesome people here. And they showed him this tank, and my dad sent a picture to that Sherp client of him with the tank. And that shrimp client said he wants it. Um, so basically, we're going to be buying the tank, getting it shipped to the farm. And then that shrimp client's going to be sending my dad money. And then we're going to ship it out to California for him. So we're basically buying this tank for this guy. He's going to be buying it from us. But we are going to technically own a tank for like a week. So it will be our tank. I guess I'll get you more information on the tank later. I have no idea what model or year. Or I really honestly know pretty much nothing about tanks. All I know is it's steel. It's got a pretty big barrel on it. It doesn't have, it's not tracks, it's wheels. So I, I don't know. There's a hatch right here. Maybe, wow, that's heavy. <laughs> we're gonna have to climb into this cause we're gonna have to try to get this thing <laughs> driven onto a, truck. Wow. This thing is sick. I don't know what's going on with what's behind me here too. There's another armored vehicle. That one looks custom. Huh. Well, I'll get you information on this tank later in this video. There's not really too much I can do right now until Oscar gets out here at the Bobcat and we can get all this snow out of the way. So I'm probably just going to chill until then but yeah that's what's going on with the tank that's what we're gonna do with it hopefully we can get it started Oscar got us a path cleared out to the tank and we've been digging around and we're trying to find the battery we can't find the battery and I climbed in there I'm gonna take you guys in there with me Whew, it's crazy here's a little peek it is cramped in there I can't believe that three people working I think it's nuts and I'm 6'3 so I mean they probably won't have me on a tank but yeah, so I'm in the tank. 
Here's the controls. <laughs> Holy crap. A little steering wheel. It's, this is not made for someone who's 6'3", because my knees are straddling the steering wheel. There's a lever in the middle there to pull. Gas pedal right here. There's no brake pedal anywhere. Dude, this glass is so fogged up. This, bull this is bulletproof glass on there. That's pretty sick. Okay, so let's... There's some just... There's just a bunch of stuff on here that doesn't even have, like... Doesn't say what it is. But, like... There's no explanation on half the things in here. Here's a shifter knobber. Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance. It's an MK4 Type D. Where's some info on it? Date. I can't read that. I think it says 84, maybe? Um, there's some shooting stuff back there. Wow. Wow. But turn the top just right so you can open it. And we, I mean, there's not even an ignition switch. We're pulling levers, flipping switches and stuff. And I mean, can't. Right. Well, there's no, the battery's got to be dead. I mean, I'm pushing the horn and I can't find a main switch either. So. We got in it. So, this is a lot more complicated than what we thought. There's a lot of buttons in here, a lot of switches. I think I figured out how to turn this, but the problem is we need to turn the top to be able to get to, to be able to open the hatch on the back to get to the motor and the battery, to jump start it. Um, but I don't think we can really turn the top unless the motor's running, so it's kind of a tricky deal. So, up front of the outdoors, dad came here, figured out, well, we figured out how to start it. You guys had to figure out nothing. Yeah, we did. We got that thing figure clicking back switch. there. No, we got the ignition too. Yeah. And then you were, no. And now, we're going to jump it from the inside. You want to show them where we jump it from? No, because I don't know yet. Oh. Well, you know nothing. Getting there. I need to figure out which one's positive or if they're both positive or what on this cutout. This is a cutout. What do you think you just got? I don't know. We got jumper cables hooked up. Found the battery. See if it'll start. I think we're in neutral. <laughs> Put it in reverse in just in case we're not. I think that's a break. Right. Think? Yeah. There it is. I started the Wouldn't it not even click then? So tank wouldn't start. So I had to come in here and do an oil change on the 6.7 because we're gonna be taking it to get a truck with a rust-free body. Uh, so we're getting trailer ready, doing oil change on Oscar 6.7 and uh, I don't know, Oscar just decided to pour all the oil on the floor. <laughs> so, yeah. That's sweet. Hey guys, so I wasn't actually planning on posting this tank video right away just because I just wanted to do it uh, when we go back out there and finish 
getting it started and getting loaded up and everything. But the reason I ended up posting today anyway was because the plan for today was to go and actually get a rust-free uh, OBS truck that doesn't run, but it's got no rust in the bed, no rust in the fender. So it's gonna be a, it would be a perfect truck to uh, swap the body off to onto the Fummins so I can get ready for paint because then I'd have that truck rust free. Uh, but that ended up falling through today. So we're gonna try to go and pick up that truck on Saturday or Sunday if this guy gets back to me now. It's being kind of weird. Um, so I was planning on filming going down and picking up that truck and doing all that today, but I ended up falling through and not happening. Last minute, he said he was busy. Um, so that's why I'm posting the tank video today, so you guys still have a video to watch. So I apologize that we didn't get it started right away, but we're in contact with the dude and getting it figured out, and we're gonna be getting it probably next week, getting it fired up and get it loaded up, and I'll definitely be filming that, especially if you guys are interested in this. So give the video a thumbs up if you wanna see part two of the tank video. Then also keep an eye out for me getting that rust-free truck. So whenever I get that, I'll be posting a video on that too. So God bless, guys. Follow me on Instagram, Up North Outdoors with a Z. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subbed already. Then hit that bell button so you don't miss out when I post new videos. Um, Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. This is a really bad idea. I saw this old ride list for sale. Ten years old and it looked like hell. All my friends said don't. I replied, oh lord, it's an F-150 on bed for Stores my tools, can all alone Put a drinks up gas and now I'm broke I jack it up, put on, lift it off Road tires and be logs on Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud, it well as the sand It defines me who I am It's more than practical, it's a statement If you ever think I'll say it, good luck American made, and it's my truck Just for show, cause it'll bust up when it won't roll. I jacked it up, put on, lifted off, road tires with be logs on. Dude, it's got a little attitude, ain't it grand? It does the mud as well as the sand. It defines me who I am. It's more than practical, it's a statement. If you ever think I'll send a good luck, American made, and it's my truck. Yeah.